they ask for mercy. Who is the reincarnation of uh, Caesar Beaujeu? The Rothschild. They ask him, they, when, they, when they bow down on their knees, they got Caesar Beaujeu in their mind, and really, that goes to the Rothschild. So they asking the Rothschild for mercy, man. And the Rothschild is the one killing them. Because they the ones sending out the hits, sacrificing uh, two thirds of our people. This is sacrificing two thirds of our people to the uh, demon Satan. Because that's what they worship. Okay? They send them hits out, man. And the most I allow them, the most I allow them uh, to do that. Why? Because Israel don't hear and they worship it. Uh, 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 Esau. So called white man with the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. And they're good for nothing. Two thirds of Israel are good for nothing, man. Right? That's right. why the most I treat them like that. And, and, and when you watch, you can see, first, soon, soon, they, like I was telling somebody the other, uh, uh, yesterday, that same, that same, uh, we shall overcome, that was playing that with my mother. We're 13 or 14. They playing that. When I was 13 or 14, and they playing that since my niece is 13 or 14. The same repeated cycle when they lay Jake flat. Every time, man. Every time. That's the same repeated cycle. And Jake want to continue to trust the trust in America. We believe in America. We trust in America. Hey, man, America's a hellhole, man. It's a hellhole, man. And if you can't see it, you blind. You, hey, hey, Psalm, hey, Psalm 23. <laughs> you see? So if you can't see it, hey, woe unto you, man. This is verse 11. For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, saith the Lord Yahweh, that they might be unto me a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory, but they would not hear. So that's why he gonna get a remnant, man. Because not all Israel gonna hear, man. And the only way that glory is gonna be uh, uh, set up it's going to be set up and through who the world Hillary called Jesus and through the elect, man. Because that's what we going to come back and redeem, man. Two-thirds are good for nothing, man. Look at them, man. I got, like I said, man, look at, the, look at the CNN news, man. Look at Fox News, man. And look how they portray and show Jake as being docile and, and, and completely uh, uh, ignorant of what's going on around them, man. They don't have a clue, man. They don't know. Oh, and that's them people all in them churches, man. That Jake piled up in them churches, man. They piled up in there and don't know nothing, man. And proud, too. Yo, they ain't got a clue why they there. You know? And why them things happening to them. They don't know, man. That's why the most high continue to let Satan, the devil, which is a so-called white man, Right in their face, man. And they keep continuing to beg for mercy. This devil was created to destroy, man. That's all this devil was created to do. Destroy the nation of Israel, man. That's it, man. And the most I set him up like that. So when he sent them deaf angels, that was a deaf angel sending that congregation. So-called congregation in that in that parlor house, man. That was a deaf angel sitting right there. Right. Nope. So more that's gonna happen, man. More that's gonna happen, man. And you think you're safe in them church? You gonna get? You gonna uh, get uh, uh, security and police officers and lock the doors? Nah, man. Most I send them death angels in there anyway, man. There ain't no escape, man. Most I want you out of here. You out of here, man. And they use these all to do it. God. Rock 39, 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay a sword, lay a sword, lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yeah. So, see, so you think, you think uh, the 
most high, the most high didn't give that order that Esau sent out. I mean, that the most high sent out. So like, you think the most high uh, uh, didn't send that order out that, that had Esau execute them, them uh, uh, nine jakes. That's how the most high get down. You see? And if you and if you jakes read the scriptures, you will automatically know that the most high sent that sent that on us. Because we doing wrong, we doing things that we aren't supposed to be doing. That's why he allowed that to happen to us. And hey, and they at least know that. They know who you are. They know. And they know you don't know nothing. That's why you piled up in them churches. So like I was telling this brother, I said, man, Jake, Jake is a uh, uh, fish in the barrel waiting to get shot, man. Or, or waiting to get put to death, man. They fish in the barrel, man. You know? God, this is uh, Sirach 40 and 9. It says death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and scourge. These things are created for the wicked. Yep. Two-thirds of our people and the so-called white man. God. You can't get around it. God. Go back to Jeremiah. No. Go to Job. Come. Job 12. Uh, Job 12 and 23. 23. Yeah, Job 12 and 23. He increases the nations and destroys them. So the Most High uh, 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 does that. He increases the uh, nation. You got a lot of Edomites, which the Most High going to destroy. You see? He allowed that to happen, man. The Most High allowed that to happen. Esau is everywhere. The Most High increased him. He was a bum on the earth, man. In the ancient world, Esau was a bum on the earth, man. He was nothing. But you people, since he's ruling right now, you look at him, you look at him as if, as if he's God, man. The Most High increased him like that. So he can destroy him, man. Go ahead. It says he increases the nation and destroys them. He enlarges the nations and straightens them again. See that? But what he gonna do? Look up that word straighten. We're gonna see what that word means. Y'all bear with him. Let's see what that word means, straight. You know? It's the most high that does that, man. And if them people read the red, uh uh read the scriptures, they would know that uh, the Most High uh, increased Esau like that and had him rain all over the earth like he doing, man. They would know that. You see? Go ahead. God. Hebrew straightened Hebrew 51.48. Uh, the Hebrew word is nakha, nakha, to lead, to guide, to lead, to bring. That's the uh, blue letter. Strong is to guide and imp by implication to transport into exile or as colonists bestow to bring, govern, guide, lead, forth, put, straighten. See that? So the most high control him. The most high control Esau, man. On the left hand side. So if you just read the scriptures, you would know that. You look up words, you would know that. Colonize. God, see that? Read that again. Huh? God, it says he increases the nations and destroys them. He enlarges the nations and straightens them again. Oh, that's it on that? He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth and causes them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. See that? They grope in the dark without light, and he maketh them a, to stagger like a drunken man. See that? So at first Esau was like that. He was staggering like a drunken man. You see, in the ancient world, he was like that, man. But the whole side increased him, straightened him out, colonized him, and set him up, man. And now he's ruling all over the earth. But in the end game of it, the most high gonna destroy him. Proverbs 15 and 29. The Lord Yahweh is far from the wicked. The, the 
Mosai is far from the wicked. What? They thought. They don't think about the Mosai. They don't give praise to you how about Shem Shot. They don't think about it. Everything they do, they think they done it. They don't know that the Mosai are controlling them. Go ahead. It says the lawyer how is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. He hears the prayers of the righteous. You see? So you can't even pray for the wicked. Only the prayers of the righteous. And who is that? The elect out of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are Israelites. God. You see? You can't pray for no, you can't pray for the wicked, man. That's what the niggas do. Well, he done, well, well, hey, even though we know that word means black, <laughs> but you can throw that because Esau's in darkness. He don't have no light. He thinks he got the light. The Heavenly Father is the Father of light. You see? That tell you that if you get that matter of fact, hold that. Get, hold what you got. Get that in James, the first chapter. Verse. The heavenly father is the father of light. Not Esau. He in darkness. Because that's what black means. Dark. So he in darkness. And he think he got the light. No, the heavenly father got it. You see? You see? That's uh, the day one. one. Start 16. It says, Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is far from above and cometh down from the Father of lights. Yeah, so every everything, every good gift comes from the Heavenly Father. And what's that good gift? The kingdom is going to be to the nation of Israel. Knowledge and wisdom was given to the nation of Israel. That's the good gift. You see? Being delivered out of this captivity. That's the good gift. You see? Coming back to your nationality, knowing who the Heavenly Father and His Son is. That's the good gift. That's multifold, man. That meaning is multifold, man. The good gift. Go ahead. God. And it says, Which whom is no verbalness, neither shadow of turning. No verbalness. Meaning no weakness. Ain't no weakness in Yahweh Bashim You think he you think he got a weakness? No, there ain't no weakness in him. Ain't no weakness in him. Man, look up that word light. Let's see what that truly means. Lights. Lights. And then you're gonna have to go to the etymology too. Uh, 